Hey everyone, today we'll be looking at this uh, Zigbee uh, controller that I got on AliExpress for about 10 Australian dollars. This was literally the cheapest one I could find. Um, one of my users said, hey, you should look into Zigbee. And I'm like, okay, sure. And I want to do PIR, so uh, I got a Zigbee uh, controller for my home assistant. So this is it. It's quite small, it's a little box here. And uh, yeah, it comes with uh, some firmware. Um, I ended up actually upgrading this to a newer version. I'll get into that more later. Did not change what I thought it was going to change. Um, so you probably don't need to upgrade it, but yep, this is uh, what it comes with. And we're gonna use it with Home Assistant and Zigbee to MQTT. So we'll plug it into my computer and take a look. That little guy on the right is one of my home servers running Proxmox where I have Home Assistant virtualized. So we're just gonna plug this into the back and uh, away we go. Okay, so it's plugged in. Uh, I'll put the machine back to where it belongs and I'll configure it in Home Assistant and we'll take a look in the user interface. Hey everyone, welcome to my Home Assistant instance. So first things first, let's talk about the Zigbee integration. This is the default Zigbee integration. I didn't end up using this because my device simply didn't work correctly, but this adapter did work with that. If your device works with this, then that's all you would need, but I ended up going with Zigbee to MQTT. If you want to install Zigbee to MQTT, you'll need to install an additional repository. You'll go to this GitHub page and install this add-on. Then you'll be able to add it to your user interface. You would see it in the side right here. In addition, you'll also need to set up an MQTT integration. So you'll want to go here and get MQTT and add that and configure that as well. Once you've done all that, you'll be able to use the Zigbee to MQTT interface to add devices. You would just click permit to join and then your device will be added to the list. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this and my device shows up perfectly fine. So I can definitely recommend this adapter, although I'm not sure if the range is amazing. I live in a one bedroom apartment but it seems to do the job. See you in the next video. Bye.